In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make embedded info channels on Discord. We will be explaining the whole process and showing how to format the messages properly. You can use the video chapters to skip to sections as you need. First, we will need to make our info channels. If you only care about creating the embeds, then skip to the next video chapter. Right click on the side panel and choose to create a new channel. Make sure that text channel is selected, then give the channel a name. I'll be calling mine rules. Create the channel. Right click on your channel and choose to edit. Switch to permissions via the side pane. Expand the advanced permissions. With the every one role selected, enable the view channel and read message history permission. Disable the send messages, create public threads, create private threads, and add reactions permissions. Alternatively, just disable all of the other permissions. Save changes. If this channel is going to have reaction roles, then you will need to adjust bot permissions. Click the plus icon and add either a bot role or the specific bot you will be using for reaction roles. Enable the add reactions permission. Save changes, then close. Now, we need to create a private channel for images we will be including in the embeds. Right click on the side and create a channel. Select text channel, then name it media or something along those lines. Enable the private option. Click next. Skip. Drag the media channel up so it is at the top of the list. Right click on the info channel you want to create a message for, then choose to edit the channel. Select the integrations option from the side. Create webhook. Ensure the correct channel is selected, then click the copy button. Close and head to the Disco Hook website. A link will be included in the description. Clear all. Confirm. Paste the webhook into the webhook URL box. Expand the profile menu. Select the username box and input the name you want the message to come from. Typically, this will be the server name. Head to Discord. Select the media channel. Drag in the image you want to use for the profile, then send it. Right-click the image and copy the link. Head back to Disco Hook and paste the URL into the avatar box. Close the profile settings. Select the content box. Type the title for your message. I'll be creating a rules message. And close the title with two asterisks on either side. This will make the text bold. Click the Add Embed button. You can have up to 10 embeds in one message. Expand the embed and the body. Select the description box and type out your message. You will see a preview of your message on the right. You can stylize your message using asterisks. Placing one asterisk on either side of text will make it italic. Two will make it bold and three will make it both bold and italic. We recommend making any headings bold. In your message, you may want to include channel mentions, role mentions, user mentions, or emojis. To add these, you will need to use the Discord IDs. Start by switching back to Discord. Go to a text channel in your server. Type hashtag, then select the channel you want to mention. Move to the front of the hashtag and add a backslash. The backslash is typically above the enter key. Send the message and you will get the channel ID. For roles, type an add symbol and select the role. Go to the front and add a backslash. Send the message to get the role ID. For user mentions, type an add symbol then the username. Select the user. Add the backslash to the front and send the message. For custom server emojis, select the emoji button and choose the emoji. Add the backslash to the front and send. Simply copy-paste the IDs into your Discord hook embed to include them in your message. If you have any issues, make sure you are using the correct slash. And if that fails, then go to User Settings, Advanced, and Enable Developer Mode. You can also add standard emojis to your message. On Windows, press Windows key and full stop or Windows key and semicolon. On a Mac, press Control, Command, Space. Type to search for an emoji, then select it. Select the color box. This will control the color of the line to the side of the embed. Click and drag on the large palette to choose a shade and the side slider to pick a color. You can also input a color hex code if you like. Click off to confirm. If you are setting up multiple information channels or using multiple embeds, then you may want to copy the hex code so you can use the same color for each. In place of a title, you can use an image or channel banner. A channel banner looks more professional and is highly recommended. If you don't want to use an image, then skip to the next chapter. 
You can create a channel banner using Photoshop or free alternatives like Canva. There are different dimensions you can use for the banner. We will have our favorites on screen with an example of how they look. Head to your Discord server when you have a banner. Select the media channel and drag in the banner. Send the message. Right-click the image and choose to copy link. Head to Disco Hook. Click the Add Embed button. Expand the embed, then select images. Paste the copied image link into the image URL box. Head to the first embed. Highlight and copy the hex code. Expand the body of the image embed. Paste the hex code into the color box. Press the arrow on the right to move the image above the message. Close the embed by clicking the arrow on the side. Delete the title from the content box. Scroll up and click Send. Your embedded info channel will be set up. Now, you will want to create a backup for the message. There are two methods I like to use for this. Click Backups at the top. Select the Backup Name box, then give it a name. Click Save. Select the three dots and choose to export. The backup will then save to your computer. You can also backup the message by copying the URL, then saving it in a text document or a private channel in your server. The URL can be put into your browser to load the message. Next, I'll be showing you how to edit your embedded info messages. Start by loading up your message template. Select the Backups button at the top or paste the saved URL into the address bar. Click the Load button next to the message. If you don't see your message, then click Import and load the saved file. Close. Make any changes to the message that you want, then switch to your Discord server. Find the message and right-click it. Copy the message link. Head to Disco Hook and paste the URL into the message link box at the bottom. Switch back to Discord. Right-click on the channel the message is in, then select Edit Channel. Switch to Integrations, then select Webhooks. Select the webhook and copy the URL. Close, then switch back to Disco Hook. Paste the URL into the webhook box at the top. The button to the right will now say Edit. Click the button and the info message embed will be edited. You will now be able to make and edit Discord info channels.